One of the biggest questions that people have these days is how big is the reward of a particular deed? How big is the reward of praying at night? How big is the reward of, of doing Hajj? How great is the reward of feeding somebody? And from my understanding, and what I have read about the Quran and Sunnah and the number of times Allah Zawajal tells us to feed the poor in the Quran, it is my understanding that feeding the poor is greater than even Nafal Hajj. Even Nafal Hajj. Not obligatory because obligatory, there's nothing more rewarding to come to Allah Zawajal with except that which is obligatory, right? But anything which is not obligatory, I believe that feeding the poor is actually more beneficial than Nafal Hajj. In fact, we find that Ummul Masakin, and that is Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, it was reported that she used to love to feed the poor so much, so much that <clears throat> she was one day moving her mattress that she used to uh, lie on, and on the side she found one grape, one single grape which had become half a raisin, you know, almost because, you know, it was de dead and dying when the, you know, from the heat of, uh, of Medina. So it was half uh, uh, a grape, can you believe it? And she went and she found a poor person and put it on the person's plate and the person ate it. And so it was at that point, it was at that point that the servant of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, Ya Ummul Mu'mineen, it's just a grape, it's just one grape and it's also gone off. He said, you know, how many atoms of good are in it? And then she recited the verse, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ And whoever does an atom's weight of good will see it. And so that is how we should think. How many atoms of protein are there in that food? How many atoms of carbohydrate? How many atoms of food particles are there? Allah will give us reward for every atom. And so may Allah make it unbelievable number of atoms in that food that we're giving away and may that be in our our book of deeds on the day of judgment and that is the way to look at it how many atoms weight of good are in it do you see how she did not belittle even one grape in the same way it was reported that abdullah ibn mubarak عنه, one of the great scholars of islam who was a scholar of hadith and also a mujahid someone who used to fight in the cause of allah he was very charitable he was taking a lot of his students for hajj with him once and when they were going for hajj and this was not their first hajj on the way from baghdad as they were leaving they found that there was a dead uh, bird that fell from the skies. They, so they took the dead bird and put it into the trash bin. As they were passing on, the caravan was passing on, two kids came from nowhere that were completely disheveled, picked up the bird and were taking home. So he was very intrigued, went and found out the kids were actually two orphans. The father was killed, their money was taken wrongfully, and they were now hungry for many days. They had nothing to eat, they were about to eat a dead bird. What did Abdullah bin Mubarak say to his servant? He said, Oh, so and so, how much money do we have? We said, we have 1,000 dinars. He said, give 980 to so and so and leave 20 for us. That'll be enough for us. For I believe this deed is more rewarding than the Hajj that we are about to perform. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters in Islam, he who runs to look after the poor and looks after their needs is like the person fighting in the cause of Allah. Attain the status of a mujahid by looking after the poor in the month of Ramadan and beyond.